you remember, don't you, when the pandemic struck and we were all told to stay at home and the April weather in 2020 was, I think, the best it had been for 50 or 60 years. And we were all working from home. Well, we were supposed to be working from home. I think a lot of us were enjoying the sunshine. If we were lucky enough to be in the garden, perhaps drinking a lunchtime beer, it all seemed really rather wonderful. And from that moment, work from home has become very popular indeed. A poll says 56% of people would like to spend more time working from home. I get it. I understand it. You perhaps haven't got to get on a train and commute into London. You're not going out and buying sandwiches, beers on a Thursday night for people you work with. It's much cheaper working from home. You can save a lot of money. I've always been very sceptical about two things. The first is productivity. I completely get it. If you're a computer programmer or someone like that, probably being at home, uh, you know, on your own, without the distractions of being in an office, you probably can get more done. But for most people, are they really more productive working from home? Well, there's a knock at the door because there's the latest parcel delivery of something, or the dog's not well, or the kids are off school, and there's a whole, oh, and the phone rings, and there's a whole host of distractions. So I'm very sceptical about people's productivity working from home. I really, really am. And the other real objection that I have to it is it's really bad for young people. Young people in life, in the main, get on and learn by being with older people, by being with more experienced people. And that's how they get on. That's how they learn things. So I don't think work from home is a good idea in most cases. Now, we were expecting yesterday an employment bill to come from the government. There were 38, of course, other pieces of legislation, most of which there simply isn't time to get through Parliament. But the employment bill wasn't there. And so any right enshrined in law to work from home is not going to get put forward by this government. Boris Johnson, in fact, sort of went rather on the attack. Uh, you know, he's saying, look, it's a complete disgrace that HGV drivers cannot get their driving licences updated, that the wait for passport is as long as it is. And of course, Jacob Rees-Mogg has been going around civil servants' offices, leaving notes saying, sorry, I missed you. And when you see some of the figures for Whitehall, when you see some of the Whitehall departments are still only running at between 25 and 35% of their normal staffing levels. So you tell me, is working from home something that should be a right? Give me your views, farage at gbnews.uk. I just think we have to try and get back to normal as much as we can. And I think, frankly, a lot of those that say they want to work from home two or three days a week are taking the mickey now.